Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I actually didn't think I was going to be doing any more roundup videos for advent calendars but I received a few more in the post that I really wanted to share with you because there are some excellent ones and at the end of the video I'm actually going to share a few non-beauty advent calendars. I also received very mixed reviews on these videos. I know some people didn't really like them because I didn't open the calendars but I have been uploading lots of unboxings. I will probably do the whole of next week with unboxings as well so please stay tuned for that and if you'd like to see me unbox any of these calendars then just let me know down below in the comments. But if you haven't seen the previous videos I'm also going to leave those linked down below in the description. So the first advent calendar I have to show you is this this Clinique one, I probably should have taken it out of plastic. This is the Clinique 24 day of Christmas advent calendar. 24 day is way more common than I think than 25 days just because I think it's just a little bit che cheaper to, to make to be honest. I will open box number one because to be honest I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to be unboxing fully. This is £85 but I actually spotted loads of calendars for much cheaper online today so i would have a look on john lewis because it was significantly cheaper on the john lewis website but this is a clinique pep start two-in-one exfoliating cleanser which i've never tried before but it's a nice sample size at 30 mils this advent calendar is a mixture of skincare and makeup as well i think this is great for anyone that loves clinique or anyone that is looking to try clinique as with every calendar do let me know if you'd like to see me unbox this because it does seem to have some really good products inside it is largely skincare, I would, it even has a brush in there which looks really quite good. But it does actually look like a good calendar, especially if you're a big Clinique skincare fan. Onto Declure, which isn't a brand that I am like overly familiar with, so I am very excited to open this. Off the top of my head I can't even think of what Declure products I have tried. Oh, I didn't expect this to be a box one. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't expect this to be a box one, but it is. It's actually quite sweet. I really like the colour. This one, again, is also £85, so it's exactly the same price point as the Clinique. I'm going to open one of the boxes. I'll open box one. And inside is the Hydra Floral Everfresh Fresh Skin Hydrating Light Cream. This is a 30ml. For some reason this 30ml looks massive but I'm very interested to try this but like I said I haven't tried much from Declior and it's always very exciting to get an advent calendar with a brand that you haven't tried much from so I cannot wait to dig into this one and again if you would like to see me unbox it let me know. The other thing I noticed is that although this is a box calendar they have like these little um I don't know what to call them tabs i guess to aid you with removing the box which i think is very clever and i've never seen anyone else do on to bare minerals now i have mentioned before i really like bare minerals it's a brand that kind of surprised me i never thought i would love it but it is actually a brand that i use so much and a brand that i really really love i think they really do great foundations blushes eyeshadows mascaras almost everything if i'm honest now this is their 24 day of clean beauty which I think is quite an unusual way to go about it because I don't think Bare Minerals yet yeah, clean beauty. This is a makeup advent calendar. It's quite a luxury makeup advent calendar which I'm not sure I have featured one really. Not one that's almost solidly just makeup. There is a serum in here and a primer and a few other bits which are kind of makeup kind of skincare but it does really look like a great calendar it's really very sturdy i love the color scheme i actually really really like the color scheme and it's one that i'm very excited about again if you'd like to see me unbox it then let me know this feels so luxe i am so impressed but it's just worth noting that they are largely minis i think there may be a couple of full sizes but mainly minis and this one is 79 pounds but again there are some very good offers up at the moment, so hopefully you guys can get some good deals. I'll leave the links down below. Then onto the advent calendar I didn't know I needed, but I really did need. I love this, and I really wasn't expecting to like this. When advent calendars first came out, it was nail brands that kind of led that, and it was a long time ago. Ciate was one of the first beauty brands to do an advent calendar, and then there was someone else that done one soon after, I can't remember who. But OPI, I think they may have done some in the past. I don't think I've ever... Um, have I, I'm not sure I've ever had one. This is the OPI collab with Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty and I really do love OPI as well. I couldn't resist and I had a sneaky peek inside. And I love this. I'm actually going to get my gels off very soon. And I'm not going to put any shellac on after. Because I just want to wear these 
until Christmas. There are some stunning colours in here. Again, I will do an unboxing if you want me to do an unboxing. I would quite like to do an unboxing, so hopefully some of you guys would like to see that. But I like took out the trays and had a look and I just love them. I think this is a beautiful calendar. They are minis. They are all 3.75 mils. So they are quite small, but I think they're actually a really nice size. I've had this size before from OPI and they last quite well. There are very, very few colours in here that I wouldn't use, which is so rare because there's 25 of them. And I can't wait. I just love this calendar. It's just so so sweet and i believe all the colors in here are from the hello kitty range this advent calendar is currently 42 pounds on amazon but its rrp is 65 pounds i think 42 pounds is a great deal if, if you manage to find this for that price i would definitely snap this up there's glitters in here there's non-glitters oh i just love them so this is a space nk advent calendar it's the one i'm most excited about i really really think space nk is the place to go to for beauty shopping some people might disagree but I mean, where's better? I just think Space NK is the best place. And I'm so excited to have the Space NK Advent Calendar. It retails for £195, which yes, is definitely expensive. But as far as like luxury Advent Calendars, I don't think it's crazy. It's cheaper than Harrods. It's cheaper than Joe Malone. I think it's cheaper than Liberties. It's cheaper than a lot of places. And it's just so, so lovely. The range of brands is incredible. And the most impressive part is that it's worth £550. So it's worth almost triple of what you're paying for it. I've had a sneaky peek. There are some really nice full sizes in here. Brands include Drunk Elephant, By Terry, Shantakai, Charlotte Tilbury. It's just so exciting initially i wasn't sure about this layout i'm actually it's not my favorite layout if i'm completely honest but it is separated into parts which i quite like there is volume one which is ready set sparkle volume two which is all dressed up volume three is the after party and volume four is seasonal stars they are made to look like books and then you open up two books at a time. Very well made, very luxe. And honestly, I just can't wait to dig into this. I'm sure it's amazing. And like I mentioned, if you would like to see me unbox this, then just let me know. And I can definitely do that next week. And then finally, I wanted to show you three advent calendars which aren't beauty because I was kindly sent them. And I really, really like all three of these. I'm going to start with this one which I was kindly sent by, by Primark. This one's a little bit different and it's only £15 which I think is a very very good deal for an advent calendar. This is a Mickey and Minnie Mouse Christmas advent calendar from Primark. Like I said it's £15 and inside there's loads of baubles. I think this is a nice one for any age group as long as they love Mickey and Minnie Mouse. I think this would work really well for children and for adults and honestly I just want to buy a little mini tree to put all these baubles on because I've had a look at the back and the baubles are beautiful. I'm gonna open door number one, although I'm tempted to keep this for myself, but do let me know if you'd like to see me unbox it beforehand instead. This is so cute. Door number one is this Mickey Mouse. It's, it's a silver, silvery white glitter, and it's just so adorable. And I can just imagine like a little Christmas tree just filled with these, or oh, I would be tempted to buy two of these and just fill my Christmas tree with these because they are, just adorable. I really, really like these. Then on to Joe and Seth's Gourmet Popcorn Advent Calendar. Now, if you haven't had Joe's and Seth's popcorn, honestly, you are missing out. They do these chocolate-covered popcorns. They blow my mind. The dark chocolate in particular is out of this world, and I cannot recommend it enough. But also, it's just nice to have something that's a bit different to the standard chocolate one. Popcorn is still edible, it's still delicious, but it's different. It's £20, so it's not the cheapest edible advent calendar, but it's really luxe. And I'm 100% sure it's going to taste delicious because I really do love their popcorn. They are so, so good. And it contains 24 handmade gourmet popcorn. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe I should open one and have a little sneaky peek. I wasn't sure if we were going to get, like, one singular popcorn. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I opened one. And what you get is these, which is just like a little sachet of popcorn. 
I'm not sure how big these are though. Oh, these are seven grams. And this one, for example, is strawberries and cream. And I feel there's just a range of delicious different flavors. And one you could share with your other half as well. Like maybe you could open a packet every evening. I mean, the packets aren't massive, but they're still a nice little treat every evening. What I'm definitely gonna be keeping for December is the Quality Street one. I was surprised by how cheap this is. This is only five pounds, which I just think is so good. There are 24 doors and it's just a classic, basically. I'm very, very excited about this one. My personal favorite is the purple one, followed by the green tree. Nestle Quality Street also have their John Lewis tins. And I've heard that the two new ones that are going in there are incredible especially the truffle which i think is exclusive to john lewis and I, which i'm very very excited about so that's the end of this video a little bit shorter than my other roundups i believe i would link down below all my advent calendar videos please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like the video as well leave me a comment down below letting me know which advent calendar you'd like to see me open next as i mentioned i think next week's going to be another full week of advent calendar unboxings do let me know which advent calendar you've decided to get as well that, that's very very interesting to me are you getting a beauty one are you not getting a beauty one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye